Hey Capricorn, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with the Crystal Unicorn Tarot and I'm going to finish with the Rebel deck and let that talk smack to you and um, hopefully you'll get it from there not from me. Ching! <laughs> okay. I'm trying to be in my shiny unicorn phase, and um, but I know it's a time of transition, and if, if anybody needs their ass handed to them, the Rebel deck does a really good job of that, so uh, I'm just helping the transition along, man. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? All right. Uh, let me take this off, because I'm done with that, and let's get cracking. Boom. Oh, look at you starting out like the magician. I'm about to make shit happen. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. I like this very, very much. Seriously, honestly, love it. Okay. I love it because it's with intention. I love it because when you're, um, when your when your fiery energy connects with the idea of this coming to fruition, when you put your intention in something, it is like spirit showing me a forest fire that just takes off. It's like someone put a line of gasoline going into the dry forest, and you were just like, poof, poof, poof. like everything went up, right? <laughs> it's nice. I like it. What you doing? What are you up to? Huh. Okay. Some moon energy. And the five of swords. You have been defeated. You no longer want to fight against this. You're going to do the responsible thing. And that is what? Build. Yeah. I like it. Okay. So here's how your moon energy is showing up. It's literally the moon card. Um, and then that's where you were swimming in your head. That was that was the shadow work. That's the thing facing you, right? And the thing facing was, you was getting to a place where you finally got the message. I mean, you finally understood the timing, let me say. I think you've had the message for a long time. But you understood the timing. You understand kind of how this this whole union thing takes place and goes into an interlocking, perfect fitting puzzle piece. So on your part, there needs to be some responsibility. So putting something together, doing your side hustle, changing your career, um, making, you know, fixing those things around the house that feels like where it might be falling apart or something like really buckling down, I'm hearing. And starting something that feels passionate to you, that is your own adventure, that's your own way, it's the way of, that you're going to do things, the way, the way that you're going to create, travel, make business, make money. Um, I also feel like that could be, all, I keep wanting to say make love, so I'm going to throw that in there. Finally connecting with someone in a physical manner. Um, because I see a need for reciprocity, it needs to be a reciprocal situation. So I feel like you are in one, but at the same time, it's not at that extra level of what you want it to be. So rather than spend time with somebody who's not giving back to you or it's not fair or equal, um, while it's still functional and it's still working... They are also the devil. They're also a, an attachment and a limitation that is preventing you from serving your purpose and showing up. So you need to speak your truth. It's time for you to be a leader. It's time for you to show up, to share your intellect, to share your communication, to uh, have a boundary up against anyone who might be coming to you that is still acting out of this devil energy. So this is a couple of things about letting somebody in and also what you want out of your life you need to first create. So by manifesting your own sense of fulfillment, your own sense of passion, you are then pulling in another energy from someone else, an offer of them giving something to you. Now what is it that you want from them? 
You want a beginning, man. You want to say, where are we going? Are you in my business? Sign this contract. Are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Let's make it happen. We've been together for a while. Are we moving in together? Are we getting married? Let's go. Like, like what are we doing here? And also, not spending time just in general, flittering your energy about. <laughs> um, I think you know exactly where you want to put this energy. Exactly where you want to focus this this what drives you, okay? And I feel that by doing that, you're opening the doors to all kinds of adventures, but it's behind your boundaries and behind your, your sense of knowing. You're being able to share with people your, your truth, which is literally like a universe truth, like what you think, and I swear to God, Capricorn, like what you know to be true, about how things should kind of be and it's not a judgment it's a it's a knowing that it would ease a lot of situations right so working in your corner of the world that will give that energy out to other people um it through your business through helping friends through whatever by sharing that knowing that truth ha ah, yes this is my soulmate card four of wands but literally, it's self-celebration. It's it's honoring yourself. It's celebrating you. It's celebrating something, right? And I really feel that you're going to feel you can celebrate early, pop the champagne early, by building something that is your own, that fulfills you, without it being attached to somebody else. Now, what happens afterwards? I'm hearing that song, I can go for that, no, no. No can do now. I can't go for that. Can't go for that. Yeah, see? Nothing's going to stop you. This is your sunshine. This is you spreading your joy. This is you showing up, being playful. I love it. I love it. What else is headed towards you? Somebody who is indecisive, feeling confident, finding their self-esteem. They like to be seen. They're also afraid. I swear to God, I just pulled these. This this must be the same Sagittarius because this is literally what I just got. This person from the Sagittarius reading that I just did. So they are clear. They are playful, but they also live in fantasy land. There's them in fantasy land. But they're a sunshiny little unicorn. They're a lovely person. They um, they have clarity. They they love to grow. They have some self growth, and they they feel themselves. They genuinely feel confident. They feel sexual. They feel passionate. They they really see themselves as someone who needs to be seen, who needs to show up, who like others need to know, right? Um, but they're scared. They're scared they're lacking finances, they're lacking friendships, they're lacking a romantic relationship. Um, they just kind of live in lack when they know things need to be this kind of way. So I feel like this is in, in comparison to you, energy with you. Because I'm asking about who's coming towards you, right? And this is somebody who's a little scared that they're, they're going to be alienated, they're not good enough, etc., but they're very passionate about you. They love this adventure. They would love to start or jump into whatever it is that you're building. They love it. They just want to go. All right. What else about them? Oh, yeah. There's a little beginning love offer there. So I say by cultivating more of this passion for yourself, you're going to fire up this passion within them and it's going to make them come towards you. Um, I like it. I say like go play at your your purpose go play with your purpose and um share spread the word spread the knowledge and you're gonna find a lot of fulfillment for self and then because you're so self-fulfilled you will attract that other person's attention one last card from the other person yay yes they see they would see you as someone who's grounded nurturing um this is someone who wants to give to you and nurture you as well. So this is building a home base, 
through the feminine energy, through your emotions, through feeling, through caring about others, through caring about the planet, through, you know, um, working with the environment. So like all the different ways that you show up and you love in a very grounded manner, this is what's meant for you. I'm going to pull from the rebel deck now and let's see what kind of advice we have for you. <laughs> Where the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> Laugh. Yeah, you need some playtime. You need to play. I think there was a lot of intensity in this situation with this other person. Um, so you're going to be able to feel playful and have fun doing your thing, creating your stuff, showing up in the world, teaching your teachings. Like it's going to allow you to have a good time. It's literally just you being expressed, right? Watch out, shit could get ugly. You are being shady. Yeah, so I caution you to make sure that you do something intentional with this energy. Don't just sit there and let things go bad or let this person drain your energy um, or any situation just drain your energy, right? One more from the Rebel deck. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Yeah, that's the kind of the vibe I was getting from you're being shady. It's make sure that you don't, you know, negative talk yourself out of serving your purpose and really enjoying and moving ahead and trying something. Like, don't think it has to be the biggest and the best and better than everyone else's and whatever, whatever. Like, this is for you. This is your game. This is for you to play. Just show up for you and share it with others. Because you did it. Might as well share it, right? Yeah. No big deal. Start just a little bit because if you never do, then you'll never know, right? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, pop over to ComfySoul.com if you'd like a personal reading, and um, I'll see you guys there. Okay, bye.